Action Factory invited Alwyn, who's uh, you know an internationally renowned artist, to get involved with the 200 year canal celebrations. And we've worked with Canal Side Community before, so we thought that would be a great place for him to have his eight week residency. We're two weeks into the residency now and the canal festival's on. What better opportunity to get Alwyn out there, meeting the community and getting more people involved in his projects. Alwyn said he worked with all the local people and develop some form of response to the thought of movement. I like the idea of him bringing the concept of Bayanihan, which is moving the house, which they do in Philippines quite you know, quite a lot. Connects with the word harkat, which is Urdu for either propulsion or a movement. And it just brings two concepts together. In Southeast Asia, we have this traditional practice of floating uh, like uh, shrines uh, or, or offerings to, to the river. So I wanted to translate it in the context of Burnley of shifting community. So it could be a shrine to celebrate the spirit of community, it could be a spirit of creativity. So from a traditional spirit house, it mutated, uh, it took the shape of a narrow boat because that's what you find along the Leeds-Liverpool Canal. But it has aspects of the shrine, it has aspects of a bit of the history of the mills, the weaving industry, all different things. It started off with this door and like a little frame, but and he's put like decorations on it, it looks really, really cool. Sometimes recycling, it doesn't have to be like just thrown away, it can be used into something different and better. I also use a conceptual form of hunting and gathering. Every day I, I do walk and collect, you know, like, like a magpie, you know, collect objects. It's hunting and gathering, hunting for materials, but it's also about gathering of people. So we have all these fragments of objects in the same way that we are working with different communities. And then it's a good metaphor to bring all these different strands and then create this new object. We also approached other people in the community, such as the new refugee group in Burnley and the refugee group in Blackburn. And Alwyn also reached out and found a Filipino community. They helped Alwyn create different shrines and make the floaters and everything else. Tomorrow night's our culmination of the event. We're going to parade around the streets and then we're going to put some tributes into the water. We have contribution coming from overseas, from Taiwan and Manila and they've sent their origamis with wishes and names of people they'd like to offer. Same way we ask Blackburn community to write about what they would like to wish. I think it's really, really fun, and I think like everyone should get involved because it's where you like make friends and have fun. I'm not really an arty person, but like once I've like done it, it's actually getting really, really fun. Working on this fantastic waterway, for me I look at that like an aquatic garden where you can float things, but this are like objects that are also constantly moving. They're not still like formal sculptures. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. We've had a parade walking down the street with our creations and the lamps. We made these hats, we got our face paint done. It's been brilliant. I never expected so many people. He's involved children and adults and that's really good. Because I'm always looking for ways to encourage our asylum seekers to get to know the community and ways where the community gets to know them. Something like this where everybody's having a good time breaks down the barriers, as well as having quite a lot of meaning. Tonight has been very very, very nice. The lights have been shining, twinkling. Everyone's had a good time. I think it's gone really well. Alwyn is wonderful at connecting with people and people seem to respond to him really well. It's very nice to know because it's needed for the people. Those are from other communities and all joined together. They're enjoying themselves. Today has been an amazing day for all of us. We really enjoyed ourselves. It's been fun and I've learned quite a lot.